Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs, and today I want to talk to you about fakes. This is serious. I hate them. Especially fake Scotty Cameron putters. You can find them all over the place on eBay, online. And they're highly sought after and collected putters, so counterfeiters know this and they make a ton of them. And I want to help you identify a real Scotty Cameron from a fake Scotty Cameron. And I have a four-letter acronym to help with this. Why don't you come down here and take a look. Now this I know to be a fake Scotty Cameron putter. Reason I can tell is because of Funkage. Funkage? Fun. Funkage. It's very easy. The F is for finish. M is going to be the material it's made out of. C is craftsmanship. And G is going to be the grip. So, Funkage? Funkage. These counterfeiters can't quite get the finish right on Scotty Cameron putters. For whatever reason it may be, they always seem to all look the same, possibly because they're all made out of the same material, but we'll get to that. Now, this is a Scotty Cameron Del Mar California series, and the finish on it's not quite right. This resembles more of a pro platinum, so I would always recommend before you buy a putter, you take a look at what the finish should look like either through the Scotty Cameron's website or find some pictures of legitimate Scotty Cameron's online and compare them to the putter you're going to buy. M is going to be materials. A lot of times these counterfeiters are going to use cheaper metals like zinc, sometimes aluminum, uh, it just depends. But if you're ever in doubt, just take a magnet because Scotty Cameron should be made out of steel. And if a magnet doesn't stick to it, it's baloney. Brings me to C. C is craftsmanship. Scotty Cameron putters are milled, highly crafted pieces of machinery. And you'll notice on a counterfeit model, you'll see a lot of sharp edges. You'll see some unevenness. Uh, these ones that have weights, if they're not completely flush and symmetrical all the way around the weight port, it's not going to be real and you have the etching on the back and bottom, make sure the text looks right. Sometimes they'll paint fill them with the wrong color or they'll be too thick or they'll be too thin. They'll be slanted. So make sure everything lines up and looks appropriate and proper. And lastly, grip. Grip's not as important as the other characteristics I pointed out because a, a grip can be easily changed on a Scotty Cameron putter. But nevertheless, most of the time fakes uh, will have a imitation grip put on them and they smell horrible like a burnt G.I. Joe guy. So that's kind of a glaring defect with Scotty Cameron's. When you're out there on eBay, I just want you to remember my acronym, Thunkaja. Thunkaja, it's super easy. You won't forget it. And uh, that way you don't get taken advantage of. Uh, I've been buying on eBay for a long time, so I kind of know what to look for. I mean, that's how I find these sweet deals like this autographed Tiger Woods picture up here. Uh, it cost me 15 bucks and uh like uh it's it's clearly him in the picture and then that's his name there so Cha ching